So today, initially, it, we made it possible. We have been speaking about opening the clinics for 24 hours. This is the first in Region B as an OMO, which will to actually operate for 27, uh, 24 hours, 7 days a week, and 365 days a year. So it's one of the initiatives we took at the city of Johannesburg in collaboration with the Johannesburg uh, Health District to make it possible. So we will be opening a Westbury Clinic, um, a unit or phase that will include accident and emergency services as well. That will be available to the citizens of Westbury. We are very grateful, we are very happy for the community. Something of this nature has not been done before. We're providing services available for them, accessibility to all the residents of Westbury. Today, the clinic is functional. If you are in labor, you are a woman, feel free to come and deliver here. Um, it is a state-of-the-art um, clinic that is already operating. Two babies have been already born here. We have eight professional nurses. We have one um, advanced midwife who's working, eight doctors who are permanently based here in Westbury Clinic. So we are available, we are offering the services to you and making them available immediately, effectively. Thank you. This initiative was driven by the overburdened uh, hospitals that we have in the vicinity. This is to alleviate the, the, the strain on the healthcare infrastructure, but to also provide quality facilities for the community to have access to without having to go to the private sector. These are initiatives that are implemented by government at a local level, but what uh, prides me the most is the fact that what you see here today at some point was a hijacked building. The scourge that we are dealing with in the city of Johannesburg, but today it has been transformed into a beautiful gem. And I'm hoping that the community of Westbury would take pride in it and they will take care of it for the long run. This has been a collective uh, collaboration between the provincial sphere of government, the city, but most importantly, the communities themselves, because they took a position that they do not want to have idling, vacant properties that are creating uh, havoc, wreaking havoc in the communities, and they are creating environments that are prone to, to, to violence and substance abuse. But instead, collaborate with government to ensure that we utilize our spaces and facilities for the benefit of the community. Um, I, I, I welcome everyone to this particular um, clinic, and I'm hoping that you would have a wonderful experience. Um, the National Sphere of Government has a program serving with a smile. Uh, we will make sure that you are treated with respect, with dignity, with fairness, and you are given the priority that you deserve.